everyone, welcome back to my channel. My Boxy Charm Premium just showed up. My Boxy Lux came, what's today? Wednesday when I'm filming this. Uh, came Monday, so it came two days ago. So this just showed up. So let's open it. I'm not gonna do a separate intro. Um, this is a $35 a month box. You get like six, I think, six to seven full-size items. It's supposed to be a little bit bigger value than the regular Boxy Charm, which is $25 a month and that one's supposed to be 150. I think this is supposed to be closer to $200 worth. I've seen some really good variations, um, a couple. There's a lot of choices though, so I'm kind of nervous. My Boxy Lux was pretty decent, so make sure you check that out. That video should be up before this one, so let's just open it because I'm excited. So, oh, as far as the variation, I got 56. Holy cow, that's a lot of variations. And we are in the Oasis. So, let's see. The first thing right on top is the Living Proof Restore Instant Protection Weightless Heat and UV Protectant. So, it's a heat protectant. That's good. I do use heat protectants. It's a little warm. It's over 100 in Arizona, so I'm glad this box wasn't sitting outside terribly long, but... It says it's a protective styling hairspray. And I do have a Paul Mitchell one that I use that is a heat protectant hairspray, but it doesn't have the UV protection. So that's cool. 20, 24 hour UV protection up to 450 degrees. Non-drying. Stays soft, smooth, and shiny. This retails for, oh, $28. So I'm excited to have that. I will use that. Then we have the Glow Recipe, the Avocado Melt Retinol Mask. I'm not going to open this box. This retails for $49. I have a travel size. Let me get it. So I'm going to use that up first. But this is definitely a full size item because this is the travel size. Um, I do like it. I like the watermelon one a little bit more. Um, for me, the watermelon one's a little more hydrating or it just makes my skin feel softer, but I honestly haven't used this one as much as the watermelon one, so I will be using this up more now that I know I have a second one, but I love sleeping masks, partly because I'm lazy and I can just put them on and wash my face in the morning and my skin definitely does feel better when I use them. Again, this retails for $49, so I'm excited. I love the glow recipe, so I will not be mad about getting anything, even if I already have it. Oh, and I'm excited. I, I saw this as a spoiler, and I don't think everybody was getting it. I've been wanting this face palette for a long time. It retails for $44. I couldn't justify spending $44 on a face palette because I don't need it. I did declutter one of my tart ones just because I was hoping I was going to get this to make room for him because I only have one drawer that my face palettes go in so when that drawer is full I declutter so I'm so excited this is this pays for the box for me and it does it's over the price so this one item for me is worth the whole box even if everything else was horrible so here's what it looks like the only shade I will probably will never touch is the orange one but I'll use these and these and it does smell like chocolate, so I am so excited. I've heard good things about the new, you know, formula. I don't know if they reformulated, but this is newer packaging, so I'm excited. The, um, the milk chocolate Soleil is my favorite, so I'm hoping the medium and deep contour, um, here they are, will work. And I should be able to use the light too a little bit, but very, very excited my favorite thing so far. I was really hoping I was going to get that. Um, the next thing is the thing I picked and this is one of the NARS Tower Matte Lips. Retails for $26. I got the shade Call Me. Oh, that's pretty. Let me make sure um, I don't own this. Let me look really quick. My NAR I only have a few NARS lipsticks. This one's obviously not it. I do not own this. I have American Woman, a red, and then kind of a fuchsia-y color, so I want to make sure I didn't own this before I swatched it because I would give it away. Oh, that's pretty. 
that's a nice like spring summery color. I do like NARS's formula and that it dries down matte. I honestly have not been wearing any lip products because I am a hairdresser and we have to wear a mask the whole shift. So like I literally have makeup from here up and there's like there's no foundation from this part down. I don't, I don't even have foundation up here, it's just concealer. So I honestly haven't been wearing lips, but I'm excited to have this. Again, $26. Excuse me if I'm a little winded. I just literally got home from work and was very excited. And then I got the Billion Dollar Brow. They're, this is the Sculpt um, Contour Brush. I don't know if I'm going to use this, so I'm going to leave her in the package. Because um, I got a contour brush in my premium last month. And I do like that one, so I think I will save this and set it aside. This retails for $30. This will probably go in with my giveaway stuff, and I will pass it along to somebody in one of my giveaways in the future. And then the last thing is from Natasha Denona. Now, I have never bought anything from Natasha Denona. I just can't justify the price tag. This is an eyeliner and pencil, retails for $18. Got mine in the shade light blue, which I do like colored liner. I do wear it in the waterline now that my eyes have not been running quite so bad. So it's just a light blue um, sharpenable. The tip looks like it's gonna break off and be gentle. It's creamy. So there she is right there. It's kind of also like an icy blue. So that's cool. I'm not mad at it. I will use it. It's one of those products I like having colored liner and I hate buying it because it can be overpriced. So that's everything. So I'm very, very excited about this box, mainly for the contour kit. Um, 56 variations is a lot. That's a lot. So we got the eyeliner, the liquid lipstick, the contour palette. This is the only thing that I'm not going to keep, the um, dual-ended sculpting brush. I think that's cool that they included that with the palette because if you don't have one, now you've got one. I just happen to have contour brushes. The um, heat protectant, UV protect um, hairspray. The full-size avocado sleeping mask. We did get a watermelon one in one of the boxes and it was a travel size. So I do have two travel size watermelon ones, but this is definitely full size. And that's it, yes. So I, for me, I think this was a good box. I think this was I'm actually better than my boxy Lux. Not that that was a bad box, but I'm definitely more excited, I think about more in this one than I was with that one. The, the main winner for me in the Lux was the Tarte Tardiest Pro, which is actually what I used to do this eye look this morning for work. So that was the big win in my Lux box, but there's lots of winners in this one. So yeah, I will calculate the total. I'll try and remember to put it in the description box. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys thought of this box. Let me know if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm. I do have a referral link. It's, I don't make anything off of it, but I'll leave that down below if you want to sign up and try BoxyCharm. I do the base box and then I upgrade deluxe every three months and then I've also added the premium. I like them. So those are the main makeup subscriptions that I've been doing. I've kind of gotten rid of Ipsy and Tribe um, just because I'm getting too much makeup. So just kind of condensed it down. So yeah, that is everything that I got. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. I've got some giveaways going on on my channel. You want to be subscribed so you can enter those. Everybody be safe and hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye everyone.